John Morant is slated to make his return for the Grizzlies tonight after his 25 game suspension. The Grizzlies, they went 6 and 19 without their all star guard and are tied for the second worst record in the Western Conference. But LeBron James, he posted this on social media today 12, welcome back. Go be great again as we say hello to our reporter covering the Memphis Grizzlies for us, Tim McMahon, who is currently in New Orleans ahead of Jaw's return. What is the plan, Tim, for Ja Morant in his first game back here? Malika, Coach Taylor Jenkins has said he expects Ja Morant to be full go. And look, the Grizzlies absolutely need him to be. This is not the similar situation as when he came back from suspension last year. Tyus Jones is not around mm. to have kept the ship steady. They've been starting a two-way player, Jacob Gilliard at point guard. Marcus Smart still out with a sprained foot. Derrick Rose out with a hamstring strain. So they understand the situation they're in. They are second to last in the Western Conference, not the number two seed like they were last year. They know that they need Ja to hit the ground run. He said he doesn't want to try to force a historic game right back, but they understand that the, the hole that they're in, not thinking big picture, but knowing they better start digging right away. A full go. That is good news for the Memphis Grizzlies having John Morant back at that capacity. Tim McMahon, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us here on NBA Today. So Jaws return, right, it comes against Zion Williamson. He actually is listed as questionable for this game with an illness. But Williamson, remember, he was the player selected ahead of Morant in that 2019 draft. Morant and the Grizzlies, they have an uphill battle, as Tim just detailed in all of this. Meanwhile... We're looking at the Pelicans, and all signs are pointing to if Zion can stay healthy, this is a team that really could make a playoff push. So, Zach Lowe, I ask you, who is under more pressure the rest of the season? Is it Zion or is it Ja? Weirdly, given everything Morant is coming back from, I think it's Zion, and I think it has to do with where their teams are. The Grizzlies are 6-19. and 19. They're seven games out of the play-in. Like, any kind of push they make, is gravy at this point. Right. Ja just needs to sort of prove that he can stay on the floor, stay with the team, and just be there and be the player he was before all this stuff started to happen. The Pelicans, they've got something to play for. They have expectations. Their fans have expectations, and they should. This team is really good, and Zion already fell flat in his most high-profile game ever in the in-season tournament against the Lakers and has already experienced what falling flat on that kind of stage feels like when the expectations are where they are. So I'm going Zion. This is a, a simple answer to a complex question, which is Ja has proven on the court everything that you'd ever want out of him. It's off the court that's the issue for him. Zion has not proven on the court that he is the player that he was when he was drafted. The pressure on the court is on Zion. We've seen the best version already of the Grizzlies. I know that that same team doesn't exist anymore, but we haven't seen the best version of the Pelicans and also the best version of Zion. Yeah. As we mentioned in those big games, that's where things are made. That's where legend is made. That's where John made his name. Now we're awaiting Zion to take that next step. Right, and the closest we've gotten to that, to your point, is through the new year last year when we saw Zion healthy and they were sitting near the top of the Western Conference. Can they stay there long term? That entirely depends on Zion's health, to your point. Come on, fire. It's NBA on the list. Come on, fire.